Welcome to another edition of Club Corner. I'm your host, Braden Ingram, and I'm up in the hills. I'm up at Sylvan, and I'm with hard man of the Sylvan Footy Club, Kane Shaw. Welcome, Kane. There you go, mate. Thanks for having me. Very good. Thanks, mate. Thanks for joining us. Uh, third on the ladder, that's probably where you're going to stay. Pretty apt position for the club going into finals? Yeah, very good position. Uh, obviously, you've got the two top sides in uh, South Belgrave and Furniture Gully. They're, uh, they're very good, but you've also got the guys pushing up, like the Park Orchard, Skull Streams, and... Yeah, all the others that are pushing up too, which makes it really tough. So it's uh, yeah, it's tough in there, but we're hoping to hold on a third spot, which would be good. Give us a double chance. And uh, happy with the performance against Canterbury uh, last week. It was pretty clinical in the end. Yeah, like Canterbury aren't really pushovers. Like I mean, they haven't won a game, but they really do push you. They're uh, well coached by Ange, and they uh, put a lot of numbers around the ball and on a small ground. It was really hard getting it around, but we got the win. That's what we wanted, and we got out of it unscathed. So it was good. It was good to get over them, and uh, we look forward to Coldstream this week, which should be a tough game. And you mentioned Colstrom, man, they're still really vying for finals. It's away from home at Arctic Park. That's a tough game. You guys are going to need to come out strong again. No, it definitely is. Uh, they've uh, had some pretty good scores of late, and we have got a bit of a rivalry, even though uh, they're only new this year and we were new two years ago. But uh, we're all pretty local to each other, and, uh, yeah, there's a bit of rivalry there, so it will be good. They've uh, got a big ground, and we're used to a small ground, so another challenge for us, another one we need to tick off to get there to finals. And you've got the Coldstream game that's followed by Park Orchards and Fern Tree Gully. Uh, what do you take out of those last three weeks when finals is all sewn up? Uh, it's pretty good preparation actually because you've got uh, Coldstream and Park Orchards on big grounds and they're pushing for finals. So, and then you've got Fern Tree Gully here which is a massive game, last game of the year and uh, could possibly play them the week after. So no, nah, it's good preparation actually so it should work out well. And the game on Sunday this week, you beat uh, Coldstream earlier in the year on the Sunday and you've got them again this week. Is it almost good preparation in that you're likely to play a Sunday game and you've got that short turnaround in finals if that happens to happen? Oh, I'm not really sure. I haven't really looked at it like that, but that's, that's one good way of looking at it, I suppose. Uh, it was basically just to get a bit more of a crowd and a bit more of a local derby going. Um, so, yeah, a bit more of a crowd there, that was about it. But uh, the turnaround probably won't really help us since we're so old. But uh, yeah, no, I haven't really thought of it like that, so it should be all right. And you mentioned, you know, how, how old the list is and not, not that many young players. I mean, how would you be resting players going into finals or do you think you need to be playing your best, your best list in the last three weeks? No, nah, no chance of resting any players. Uh, that's, uh, the competition's too tight for that and we can't afford to do that. So we, uh, we respect everybody and you, just, yeah, you can't go about doing that. So we'll be playing everyone that's fit and healthy and uh, ready to go. And Chris Goodlett, what's his message been in the past three weeks? I mean, I think you've been a little bit up and down this year. You've had a bit of trouble against South Belgrave. Coming into finals, how's he feeling and what's he been saying to the group? Uh, basically just being uh, intense, basically get, getting our bodies right and uh, hitting the ground hard when we're going. That's basically it. Just a full quarter performance where, as you say, we're up and down a bit sometimes. We tend to get in front and take the foot off the pedal. Uh, which you can't afford to do that if you get in front of the good sides. You need to get the jump on the Furniture Gullies and the South Belgroves to be any chance of them, so therefore we can't afford to be doing that, so that's what we've really got to improve on. Is that certainly something you've identified? Furniture Gully and South Belgrave have had trouble with starts earlier in the year. I mean, looking towards finals, is that something you'd look to exploit? I just think you just need to get a good start in any game. I mean, whether it's against you know the bottom side or the top side, you need to get a good start. And I suppose South Belgrave have had that, which uh, has been noticed, but... They're just such a good side. You're going to need to get anything on them you can. So you just need to start and finish good because their second halves are unbelievable as well. So you need every advantage you can get. And finally, mate, how's your body feeling? I mean, we mentioned you're, you're a tough midfielder coming into finals. Feeling pretty good? Yeah, mate. I, uh, I don't run too far these days. And uh, on a small ground, which sort of suits me, uh, body's feeling pretty well, actually. So, no, it's good. Um, yeah, had a couple of years off a few years ago with Osteotis and I reckon it's uh, kept me in the game a bit longer now, so that's all right. And I can't go without asking, the boys uh, mentioned your boots before. What's what's the deal with them? You're going with the white number, what, what's going on with them? Uh, brought me boots last Thursday and uh, took them back uh, under <laughs> under warranty and they had no black boots there. I've never worn uh, never wore white boots in my life and uh, I'm copping it for it now and now I know why. But uh, I'll stick with it because I yeah, haven't got any other boots, that'll do. Oh, well, very nice, mate. I'm sure you keep copying. I really appreciate your time here on Club Corner. Good luck, good luck for this week and the rest of the season. Thanks, mate. Cheers.